Sky F1 reporter Ted Kravitz believes controversies could arise as testing gets underway in Barcelona ahead of the 2022 season. Formula One's testing schedule in Barcelona this week will lead to controversies, according to Sky F1 reporter Ted Kravitz. The teams took to the track for the first time today with their new cars for the 2022 season, the first campaign of the all-new era. The 2022 F1 season is the ushering in of a new era, with new rules and regulations set to force teams to adjust their cars to capitalize on new technical innovations. The regulations have been designed to improve competition and parity within the sport after a season dominated each week by Mercedes and Red Bull. The new cars appear to have immensely varying designs as teams respectively interpret the rules in different ways, which could lead to some unexpected and dramatic changes in performance, while testing tends to be an unreliable practice in regards to predicting how a season will play out. Kravitz believes the action set to unfold at the Circuit de Catalunya will be highly intriguing. This test is all about sorting out these very new, very different cars, said Kravitz during a discussion with fellow Sky F1 analyst Craig Slater, but there are so many different interpretations of the rules, Ferrari have gone with this strange, kind of, scalloped, sidepod car, whereas Red Bull and Mercedes look like they have gone down a different path. So we will get an idea of who's quick, who's not and who's gone down a real cul-de-sac, a real dead end they might not be able to get out of, on the controversial power units, the subject of a development freeze until 2026 before they will be replaced by the next generation of engines. Slater referred to a number of breakdowns that had taken place in testing in the past. Without mentioning the team by name, Kravitz suggested Renault had opted with what Alpine chief Laurent Rossi insisted was a completely redesigned, twin-split turbo engine. I think there are enough people who have changed their power unit architecture that they might come into a bit of trouble, said Kravitz, but the top two or three, Ferrari, Mercedes and Honda in the back of the Red Bull, are pretty much sorted from last. There will be some controversies with who has interpreted the rules in a way that wasn't intended by the FIA. There might be some controversies over flexing floors and different ideas, but I think the engines will be okay. I think the teams are on top of their reliability these days.